Here in Victoria, Australia, we are currently under a number of lockdown rules, one of which is we can't travel further than five kilometres from home, which severely limits how far we can ride our bikes outdoors during our two hours of exercise. Now, I'm not going to touch on government policy. That's not my area of expertise. What is, though, is using technology to have a better experience on the bike. Now, last week, I tweeted out an idea that I would love to see, that being a graphical overlay on our GPS head unit maps that has a configurable radius that would alert us if we went outside our zone. There were a number of great replies to that tweet. One from Raphael pointed me towards a Connect IQ app, or more specifically, a Connect IQ data field, which did exactly what I was asking, minus the map overlays. So I loaded that on the Garmin Edge 1030 Plus, and I found another app, or data field, which did almost the same, if not more. This one was called COVID Distance. It comes in either a data field version or a widget. I've loaded the data field version on the Edge 830, and I put them head to head. I wanted to see, were they measuring true radius or were they looking at distance overall? And what happens when you wrote out and back in? Did it go back to zero? Let's find out. Okay, my starting point is in Lake Gardens, nearby my home, and I've used the 2kfromhome.com website to set a 5k radius for my current location, which out west takes me just beyond Crown and Scepter Road, and over the east of town, we'll zoom into that, and Nicholson Street looks to be just beyond where I'll be allowed to ride, and Black Hill there, which is the mountain bike park, is out of bounds for now. So those are the two reference points that I will be literally touching on today. Always more road options on a gravel bike, so that's what I'll be using today, using the Garmin Edge 1030 Plus on the left with the radius starter field and the Edge 830 configured with the COVID distance app. And both of those are set to a radius of five kilometers. On screen for this ride, I have a 5K and a 2.5K radius overlaid on the map of the entire route that I rode. Top left hand corner, you'll see distance, also power and cadence as recorded from one of the Garmin's. I'll be showing both garments on screen in a few sections of this ride so you can see exactly how these data fields are working and what they do when we go beyond and come back into range. Okay, check number one, we are 3.7 Ks into the ride overall, and both apps are showing exactly the same distance to start as the crow flies, so 2.41 kilometers, which is spot on with the map overlays. Okay, the part you've all been waiting for, what happens when you go beyond that limit? So we're just about to pass Crown and Scepter Road there on the left, which was my first reference point out west. We're past there, now we have to ride another 100 metres beyond to get to that 5k limit. Slight discrepancy in the distance reporter there from Garmin Verb Edit, but it is what it is. Let's look at what happens on screen when we hit that 5k limit on these data fields right now. There we go. So. COVID distance has a bit of a tingle, I guess you'd call it, and Radius Runner definitely has a more beefier beep to it. But here we go, beyond the limit, 50 metres, 60 metres, and they continue to beep away, being quite annoying. So without breaking the law too much, we will hook a U-turn. As we now see the radius distance start to decrease. But still beep because we're beyond that 5k limit. Okay, we're back within legal limits. Now it's time to go snag one of these local dirt comms because there was a solid tailwind. And then we'll head over to the east of Ballarat to see what happens around Nicholson Street.
Okay, entering the danger zone, heading towards Nicholson Street, which is out of bounds, over in the east side of Ballarat. Now I have the data fields in the background or on another page, just to see if the beeps still take place while well, they're not in the foreground. That beep there is because it's a car back and I'm running the Garmin radar. But there we go, that was the telltale sign there and the jingle that I'm just crossing the boundary, which is spot on accurate for what I expected. All right, car pass. We can now flip data screens and see just how far we are beyond. 505, 50 meters beyond. And they're beeping away. So for the alerts to work, you simply need to load the data field on one of the pages on the bike profile you're currently using. Okay, time to get myself back into the legal zone and back to ground zero to see if these data fields read zero back at the start. As I roll into the last 100 metres, I was ever so close at capturing the entire ride on the GoPro, but that went flat. So last 100 metres here is done by hand. As I'm rolling up to the same gutter that I took off from, and both data fields seem to be spot on what they're reporting, and I pull up here, literally running over the same tracks that I made when I took off, and both 0.00, .00 and that one goes back to reporting nothing, which is it's zero. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, as we saw there, both data fields super accurate and do exactly what they say they do, which makes me very happy. Radius Runner had a better beep to it, but COVID Distance also had a sound which was just as annoying when you passed over that set limit. An added bonus for the COVID Distance data field is that it recorded data within the FIT file, which can be reviewed once you've completed your activity on either Garmin Connect Mobile or Garmin Connect on the web. Maybe not that useful, but still interesting to see. Radius Runner, on the other hand, didn't record any data. It was display and warnings only. Head-to-head -head configuration wise, COVID distance takes the win there with just a few more options. I'll put links in the video description below to both of these data fields if you want to check them out. I'll also put a link below to my Connect IQ app how to slash summary, which covers how to download these apps, data fields and widgets and install them on your Garmin devices. All right, so there it is, something that may be of interest to others who are in the same situation as we are here. And for those who don't want to do predefined routes before going for a ride every single time whilst we're in lockdown. And with that, thanks for watching.